here we have to graph a function. And the first step is to calculate the derivative. So y equals x plus 2 times cosine of x is the equation we're going to have to graph. The derivative of the function x plus 2 times cosine of x is 1 plus 2 times the derivative of cosine, which is minus sine of x. This is equal to 1 minus 2 times sine of x. And we're interested in the graph on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So we'd like to know where that graph is increasing and decreasing, and we can tell that by the sign of the derivative on this interval. So we'd like to know where this derivative changes sign, and we can solve for y prime equals 0 if 1 minus 2 sine x equals 0, and that is sine of x equals 1 half, and of course we're only interested in angles between 0 and 2 pi. So where is sine of x equal to 1 half on this interval? Well, you can look at the unit circle as the angle swings around from 0 to 2 pi. Sine of x is the second coordinate of the corresponding point on the unit circle. So sine of x is equal to 1 half when x equals pi over 6 are uh, the reflection of that angle in this vertical axis which is the angle 5 pi over 6. So we have two critical points, pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6, and these are the only points in this interval where the derivative can change sign. Now you can pick points in the interval, test points to find uh, the sign of the derivative, so between 5 pi over 6 and 2 pi, pi is probably a good test point. And here we have y prime evaluated at pi is equal to 1 minus 2 times sine of pi, which is 1, which is greater than 0. So we have y prime is greater than 0 on that interval. So y itself is increasing on that interval. And a good point to look at in the interval from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6 is the point pi over 2. And we have y prime of pi over 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 times sine pi over 2, which is equal to 1 minus 2, which is less than 0. So we have y prime is less than 0 in this interval, so therefore y is decreasing. And again, we can test y, the sine of y prime at 0 here, because y prime doesn't change sign between 0 and pi over 6, and it doesn't change sign at 0 either. So when the angle is 0, y prime of 0 is 1 minus 2 times sine of 0, which is 1 which is greater than 0, so y prime is greater than 0 on this part. So we have the graph of y is increasing on the interval where y prime is positive, so we have two intervals from 0 to pi over 6, we can include the endpoints, and on the interval from 5 pi over 6 to 2 pi. And we have our graph will decrease on the interval from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. Okay, so that's part 1b. We like the coordinates of any local maxima or local minima. And we have here that the 
derivative goes from positive to negative at pi over 6, so we have a local maximum at pi over 6. It's going to be a local max at pi over 6, and the second coordinate on the graph here is going to be f of pi over 6, or y of pi over 6. And of course, we have to go back to the original equation to get this point on the graph. So that's pi over 6, and the second coordinate in our graph is going to be pi over 6 plus 2 times cosine pi over 6. When we evaluate this, we have our local max. This is our answer to 1c. This is our answer to 1b. It's going to be at pi over 6. We have cosine pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2. So it's pi over 6, and the second coordinate is pi over 6 plus the square root of 3. And that is approximately equal to 2.25. By the first derivative test, 5 pi over 6 is uh, gives a local minimum on the graph because the graph goes from decreasing to increasing, so that's using the first derivative test, and the coordinates of the local minimum here, 5 pi over 6, and the corresponding y value on the graph is 5 pi over 6 plus 2 times cosine 5 pi over 6, and that's equal to 5 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6 plus 2 times minus the square root of 3 over 2. If we evaluate that, we get our answer to 1d, so we have a local minimum 5 pi over 6, and the y value on the graph is roughly 0 0.89. Now y double prime will tell us about concavity and convexity. So we have y prime is 1 minus 2 times sine x, and y double prime is going to be the derivative of that, which is minus 2 times the derivative of sine x, which is cosine of x. We'd like to analyze the sine of y double prime, and we can see it changes sine, or it possibly changes sine, when cosine of x equals 0. So the points on the unit circle between 0 and 2 pi, where cosine of x equals 0, are pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So these are the points where y double prime might switch sign. To see what exactly the sign of y prime is on these intervals, we need to plug in a test point. So between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, we might check out the sign of y double prime at pi, and y double prime evaluated at pi is equal to minus 2 times cosine of pi, which is minus 2 times minus 1, which is plus 2, which is greater than 0. So this means that our graph is concave up on this interval. To figure out the sine of y double prime between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi, we can pick a point, say 7 pi over 4, which is right here in the fourth quadrant. And we have y double prime at 7 pi over 4 is equal to minus 2 times cosine 7 pi over 4. This is equal to minus 2 times 1 over the square root of 2, which is less than 0. Therefore, y double prime 
is less than zero long here. And likewise, you can test out the value of y double prime of pi over 4, and you get that it's equal to minus 2 times cosine pi over 4, which is the same as minus 2 times cosine 7 pi over 4, so you'll find that it's also less than 0 here. So this tells us where the graph is concave down. It's concave down when y double prime is negative, so that's going to be between 0 and pi over 2, and between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. And of course it's concave up between pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. We have two points of inflection here. We have a point of inflection at pi over 2. Um, we'll find the second coordinate of this, and also at 3 pi over 2, and we'll find the second coordinate on the graph of y equals x plus 2 cosine of x to go here. So our points of inflection are going to be pi over 2 and the y value there is going to be pi over 2 plus 2 times cosine pi over 2. So it's pi over 2, pi over 2. And the second one is 3 pi over 2. And the y value in the graph is going to be 3 pi over 2 plus 2 times cosine 3 pi over 2, which is 3 pi over 2. 3 pi over 2 because cosine 3 pi over 2 is 0. Now we'd like to draw our graph and uh, we'd like to put all of these points on the graph. There's one more part to the problem which says give the slope of the tangent line at these points of inflection. The slope of the tangent line is going to be the value of y prime and at pi over 2 that's going to be 1 minus 2 times sine pi over 2, which is minus 1, and at 3 pi over 2, it's going to be one minus two times sine three pi over two, going to be 1 minus 2 times minus 1, so that's 1 plus 2, which is 3. So now to graph our function, y equals x plus 2 times cosine of x between 0 and 2 pi. When x equals 0, y is equal to 0 plus 2 times cosine of 0, which is 1, so that's 2. So it's one point on the graph. When x is equal to 2 pi, then this is 2 pi plus 2 times cosine of 2 pi, so that's 2 times 1. This is equal to 2 plus 2 pi. And this is approximately equal to 8.28. So it's roughly here. So it's a second point on our graph. We'd like to include the local maximum of pi over 6. And the y coordinate on the graph here is 2.25. So it's roughly here. So it's a corresponding point on the graph, and we have a local maximum there. And we'd like to include our local minimum of 5 pi over 6, which is here. And the y-coordinate there is roughly 0.89. So 1 is here, 
0.89 spot here. That's our local minimum. And then we have our points of inflection. One is at pi over 2, pi over 2, and of course pi over 2 is approximately equal to 1.57. Here we have pi over 2. We have a point of inflection around here. And our graph is going to switch from being concave down to concave up there. And at 3 pi over 2 we have another one. And the y value here is 3 pi over 2, which is approximately 4.7. One. And there the graph switches from concave up to concave down. So we have our function is increasing between 0 and pi over 6. It's decreasing between pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6 and it has this point of inflection at pi over 2 where it goes from being concave down to concave up and it has its local minimum 5 pi over 6 continues being concave up until it gets to 3 pi over 2 and then it switches again.